Hello guys and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on Aberration. Today we're going to go over breeding for those that aren't quite aware of it, but also it's going to be just a normal episode of me breeding things up. I'm just going to explain kind of the process whilst I'm doing it so that people can understand. But we have this 102 which I believe was around the 70s, 80s when we actually first hatched it. Um, and this was a 186 and we've only put two levels into it which I shouldn't have done because now I can't explain this as well as I want to but anything that you breed will be a like an av not an average but it will be a random number anywhere between the like level that this was born at and the level that like this was tamed at so if they're tamed it'll be the level they were tamed at if they were born it's the level they were born at so any extra levels you put on top of uh, won't add to the baby so that doesn't matter now what we want to be looking for for these two i presume is a 188 because uh, 186 sorry so that'll be that now they do have stat points uh, and essentially the way that that works is I'm, i'll grab this quickly and then i'll explain that otherwise i'll forget I'll, I'll just grab a few and then we'll whack them all down when we're ready so 94 we, yeah, so we know we've put two, and I believe they were both into health, and it was like one five something. But the way that works is, obviously, I put points into this. I've put a certain amount of points into my health uh, after my levels, and a certain amount into stamina. And the way it works with creatures is, creatures get the same thing. So uh, when you find them, they have, like, their stats are randomly assorted in all of these points. Um, now, if I can quickly show you, I believe I should be able to make the spyglass. I do have a mod on that allows me to see that because uh, I just find that super easy to help me with breeding. I like to breed a lot, so that's something I'm always looking at doing. I'm not sure I've unlocked it though, so let me go down and find it. No, I have. Does it need to be... No, I just can't seem to find it. Cool. Cool. It's oh, right at the bottom, cement in paste, crystal, and metal. So, can I make cement in paste? I think it's that and that, right? Can I do this? I just want to make a bit, not not all. Uh, craft amount, let's go with like... Come on. Let's go with like 30. So, the, the reason you want to do this is because you want the best stats for everything. If that's what you're going for. And if you don't have that, it's going to kind of suck. Um, it's not going to be as good of a creature as you want it to be. So I'll kind of show you the best way I know to do it. Or like, not the best way, but like a simple way of doing it. Just if you're like, okay, I'm breeding, I have no idea. Because there's a lot of guides out there that I know go into it really in depth. And I'm probably not the best to go in depth with. So I'm just going to, whilst I muck around and do this try and show off uh, kind of what you can do with it before you get to the big stuff but we want two metal and then hide yeah we've got all this so yeah we will make I believe these are all the same I don't know the difference super spyglass plus oh that's a skin uh, weapon oh I see Right, okay, I, I like the weapon so I can just have it on my hotbar. So we have that. And then put everything away. And then I can go down and show you. Uh, also, can I put away this saddle? The saddle sucks. Reminds me of Bad Times, which was uh, last episode where we just got nailed by everything. Absolutely everything. Oh, nice. It didn't, didn't work. So if I press 9 now, you can see I'm hovering over this. Um, let me... Wait, I have... Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it says uh, on the bottom box, we have a 302. So that means three levels were put into health um, normally. Uh, so that's what the creature got when I got it. And two I've put in. Now, I believe the middle one is mutations. Uh, and we'll get into that in a bit, but let's just have a quick look. Uh, so this guy has a 20 in... Yeah, I don't think he's going to have anything great because he was quite a low level when we got him. 
Well, this guy's got a 42 in Stam, which is okay. 34 in... Yeah, so it's not the worst. He's 34 in health and a 31 in melee. But it, it's also not perfect. So, obviously, we're going to want all them stats. They are the highest stats out of both, because that's what we get. Now, explaining mutations slightly... Uh, obviously, we want the best stats. Uh, you don't need to do this. It's it's much easier, of course, if I decide to... Sorry, I'm hiccuping. It's much easier if I, decide, if I remember not to level them up, the ones that I'm going to breed, which I shouldn't have done this. And then all you need to do is look at these stats. So I've only leveled up this twice. So for the melee damage, at least... Uh, like without the mod i will know if that's mutated or if we've got the wrong melee or anything like that i mean we should be able to tell because this is a a 188 and a 102 so or a, a 186 sorry and then like a 70 or 80 something this was so it will come out as a 186 our highest that's the highest we can get from this without mutations now, with mutations, I believe you get plus... You, no, you definitely get uh, plus two in level. So it adds two extra stat points to something. Um, I think they're always the same, but I could be wrong with that. So if, give me this. Um, yeah, I, th I think that could be the same. Unsure. Uh, but you want, you want to make sure that you get the mutations. However, there's only a certain amount of mutations you can have. Can I click you? Which I believe is shown here. So I think it's 20 on one side and 20 on the other. So you've got to be careful of that. I mean, that that's plenty anyway, I think. But it, you don't want to be... If you get a mutation that's got nice colours, then you don't really be wanting to put it with something if it's got like a an, an oxygen stat, for instance, if you don't want oxygen. Like that... If you get an oxygen mutation, you you don't want that. Um, I keep pressing escape and it's it's annoying. Uh, but so you want to make sure when you're mutating, go for things that you you gonna need. Like stamina maybe is, is a good one. Uh, if depending on the creature, especially if it's like a flyer or something, or health, especially if it's like a tank or something quite squishy like the raptor. Or melee damage for almost everything. Or even weight for some creatures like the RG. Um, maybe like the Anki or something. Like weight is a super good thing for them. So it all depends on the creature and what they do. Now what you want to do first before you start looking for mutations. Is you want to breed them together. Until you get those 186s. Like till you get your max levels that you can. And they both have the exact same stats and everything. And then once they have those exact same stats and all of that, then you can put them together and that can be the perfect breeding pair. So once you have the perfect breeding pair, you can then start to breed them out and get more and more. And once you do, uh, the male is the best thing to look for. Because if you get a male... Uh, Say, you, say you're looking for mutations because you have the perfect pair now. Uh, if you were to, for instance, get a mutation for melee, and it was on a female, that would be okay, and you could swap one of them out. But let's say you've got... Let, let's go with a small number. Let's say you've got five females, right? Then you've got a one in five chance. Uh, well, not a one in five chance, but only one of the five is going to net you... A possibility of getting those uh, mutations. How however, because um, you can pass the mutations across to the new creature, um, to the to the new baby, uh, be, just with the stats. But if you do that with the male, it's going to do that with all of the females. So that's super handy, and it's a, uh, it's it's one of the things that you want to look at and kind of make sure that you're doing straight away. However. Yeah, it, it's been a, a right old pain. It, it can be a, a, a pain just trying to get a breeding pair. Once you get that breeding pair, things feel like they start to move a lot faster. So you should be completely fine with that. And 
not too bad. We're, we're not going to do anything with you. I nearly did it again. We, we can with you because you've been leveled up to... Like, I've leveled you up so much. But I guess, like, it, it's super easy we can just see. Um, with these two, it's easy. If they're closer level, you might be able to tell. But I also... I'm not 100% sure on this. But I feel like there is a chance that you can get a double... And even very, very rarely, this, I could be, could be wrong, so you might want to Google this to check it, but I feel like there's a possibility you can get a double or a triple mutation, so it will add four more levels or six more levels instead of the two that you would get from a normal mutation. So, I'm, I, I'll be looking out for that, but I believe that's a thing. So we've got a 163, we've got two 163s. Oh, okay, and that's our first mutation. So this will be good to show you. If I hover over this now, we got a an oxygen mutation. Are you kidding me? And then this one doesn't have a mutation. That's 163. Oh, what? Like, I'm going to keep it... I, I, I'll explain the colors in a second. I'm going to keep these because... Uh, and then, you, also, imprinting is probably something you don't want to do. So I shouldn't have done that. Because that's going to raise this. However, th this is going to be more for base protection. And this one is just um, purely for color. Because once you've fully mutated and everything, and you're, you're finished with your creature, you can then... Oh, they're following me, of course. Uh, don't follow me. Yeah, you just want to kill the babies, but doing that's good because it gives you uh, levels. So when it, once you've got like a lot, probably shouldn't be doing it with you though, actually, because you were in the middle of breeding and I, oh no, you weren't, you're fine. And you didn't hatch one, cool. Just making sure. But yeah, so as you, as you can see, um, it, let's say we stack this up now and then we had like a 205... Just, 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 that's just a random number off the top of my head, but like a 205 Raptor that we've bred up, where it's perfect, we're like, this is what we want, but I want this color mutation on it. Then we could put together you with, with the new baby, and it would have that stats and that color eventually. You, you'd have to go for a while, it would be difficult. Um, but you can also do the same with that and breed a breed off a male and a female with with those stats. And once you have both of those stats, well, the, the stats and the color. And once you have both of them, then you have a perfect breeding pair that's in the color you want. Can I just say that color is pretty cool? I'm very okay with that color. And it's a female, so it's obviously got to be called. Um, and I'll only write this once as much as i want to write it like four times but yeah there's ruby damn that that's lucky by the way that's very lucky that doesn't happen um can i i'm gonna take this so if you don't know as well in aberration the little things that spit out stuff here so these they uh, look disgusting. They're veiny as heck, but they also uh, heal your creature uh, and you. So they'll heal it a lot quicker. So if you give me this, uh, yeah, they they heal a lot quicker next to that. So I like to stick them there. They can be often be a pain, but are you a okay? We got both females, which isn't the best because. What we want to do is, we have the female, which is the best level, and then the male, which is the worst. If we get something higher, then we want to put the female, uh, the, the male will change that out for that male. And obviously right now, I don't want to start breeding these two off because they don't have the highest stats. But we can have a quick check uh, what stats we're missing out on. So 34 and 34, 42 and 42... And then what's that? 31 and 31. So, wow, okay. So it looks like it got basically all of them, but it got two points into weight. 
So as much as I'd like to say, yeah, that's literally perfect, other than the, um, wow, that's terrible. We got two points into eight on that. So yeah, we, we can't do that. We're not... Damn, that's annoying. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. Uh, that's fine. And then you, however, have less melee. You don't have the melee, so we can't use you either. Oh, yeah, we, we need that weight for sure. And you got most of them, but you didn't get uh, melee. So you didn't get food, but I don't really care about the food. But yeah, you didn't get the melee, so that sucks. But like, look at you now that that's gone. That's such a nice red color. Does it show the colors? Yeah, see? Oh, it's like a pink, actually. If you can see, it's got the colors at the top. So the different air regions that it is. Areas, regions. Uh, like it says 41 there. That's region 1. 21 is in region 2. The This doesn't have a region 3. But then it looks like that 219 is the... Is this. And it looks red. But apparently it's pink. But I'm all for it. That looks awesome. Yeah, we got ourselves some blood raptors, uh, that which is pretty cool. But yeah, I think, um, yeah, because I've not got this, because I've got this mod on and I can check stuff like that, there's no need for me, I think, to, like, I don't need to look into this. Uh, but I'll, I'll quickly explain the, explain the imprinting, which I didn't do a very good job of actually doing any then, so that sucks. Um, you can, when they come out, did you, did you lay an egg? You did. Cool. I want to pick up the eggs because they hatch pretty quick. And I don't want them to hatch underneath like they have been doing. However, uh, as you can see, I don't, did you get imprinted? No. So he's not imprinted at all. So all of his stats are like set to a certain amount. Uh, and that's, all, all of his stats are in like that that's how much he would have with all the points that he's got in whereas with the imprint in with a 25 uh, well this one's got 13 percent with the 13 percent and with the 25 percent whatever it is um then with that this is going to increase their stat points by a certain percentage i don't know the percentage and i'm pretty sure you can change that through servers I've not changed mine because you could, they, they can just be so overpowered that way. But you can do that. Um, but yeah, the imprint in works and it it it's actually a game changer where you can like... Let's say you hatch something that's kind of okay. And it's maybe got like 7,000 health. Which is okay, but then you can imprint it and th this could be wrong. It, it might not be this much or it might be more. But you can literally have, like, it, it, it can go up to, like, 10,000. And that's before you put any extra points into it. Because of this, this imprinting bonus thing. And sadly, I didn't get it with you. But as soon as we get a good mail, I'm throwing you there. However, I do have another mod which you can get. Which I believe is in the quality of life um, features. And I have actually unlocked it somewhere and it should be here so you've got these you've got a farmer who will fertilize nearby crop plots which is pretty cool and it will collect it from nearby compost bins and dung beetles uh, you've got a gardener who will collect crops and place preserving salt in inventory and then you've also got the quality of life nanny who gives food to nearby babies and it imprints them, so you can actually imprint them using this. I use this because it's just a pain doing it, and if you want the proper imprint settings, you've got to have it, like, I don't know, you've got to have the uh, settings on so it's so long, and, it, like, that, I don't have the amount of time to, like, I don't have that amount of time to record a video and do all of that. So, instead of, oh, wow, okay. So I was thinking of making the nanny, but the nanny is actually very expensive. <laughs> Rightfully so, because it's huge. Like, it, it, you literally put it in your where your babies are being produced and stuff, and they will just sort it out straight away. They, they're amazing at that. But I'm hoping we can get a, another... We can get a male of this. 
some time this episode, so I think it was a 186, because I've added four levels into this. So we can have two of them, and then once we've got the mail, I might add you in as well, because it doesn't matter if I add another female in. The amount of females you add in doesn't matter. Um, so if you wanted something, I would like... Um, I would like to have a good red one of these. And I could, at the end, when I've got a finished final product, mutate them onto that. But I can't do it right now. Uh, no, sorry. I can do it now. But I can do it now because at the minute I'm not looking to like completely max these guys out. I just want a decent... Like, I, I want a strong forces to go out and take on this flipping aberration. Because I have been stuck and struggling so hard. So, yeah, I just need help. And these guys are going to do exactly that. But I'm going to leave this guy for you. Uh, this is going to be... Because we're not going to keep any more. I think that are level... That are less than level 186. So we're probably going to be waiting a while. Uh, so I'll let you name them. Uh, anybody in chat, name them. And I will... Or in, in the comments, not chat. We're not streaming yet. <laughs> But yeah, anybody in comments want to name him, go for it. Uh, and this guy, super cool. Like, look at him go. Okay, wait, wait. Can everyone go in neutral, please? I don't want to mess up anything. Uh, never mind. Let's throw down the eggs. We'll throw down you. And I am going to just turn and just so you can see them a bit better because it is a pain. Luckily, the raptor eggs just seem to hatch super easily on Aberration. So, very happy with that. That's a 109, so that needs to go. And then, what else do we have? 109. And a 147. So, yeah. That, to me, there's no point looking at them, even if they've got mutations. So, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me look at this in the light. Like, look how cool this looks. Oh, this is a badass raptor, man. We we got ourselves a good raptor. Also, if anyone's wondering what this crap is, it's the glow off the um, the plants. I didn't realize they were going to glow, but I also needed them for a specific thing, which we're not going to talk about because it brings back really bad memories. You know what is ironic about that sentence? She said it didn't want to talk about the glow. But I do want to talk about Glow, because Glow was uh, the main raptor that we lost. That was our female. But it did lead us to getting a much better one, which is, you know, I guess you can't complain. But, yeah, so just taking on them a few things. We got two more levels from that. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a few levels into this, and this is 1816. And what are you looking like? You are 1807. So, if we have a quick look, you have four points into health, and you have three, but you are like, if I was to have a look, you are over, you're above what this is, and that is purely because of the imprint. So, the imprint increases, and it's only 25%, and it's... I would say it's a few levels lower, but that doesn't make a difference because, obviously, being from the parent, this has 34 points in, normally, uh, into the health, and so does this one. So, right now, that doesn't make a difference. But I'm hoping we can make a Raptor pack that is just going to dominate. It's going to do good things, and we can finally survive on this arc because I've been struggling, but... I'm going to go collect a load more eggs um, and just stare at this guy and be happy about it. And then I'll be back, guys, with hopefully some something to show you. Or I'll just come back and say, guys, I have just got crap from eggs this entire time. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I will catch you guys in a mo. So, this is a thing. Yes, please. Uh... Wait, 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 so to get these, you have to get a fish. There's fish in here, right? Sure there's fish in here. There has to be. 
Just, just one fish, please. Let me, let me test this out. Okay, so... An otter? I didn't even know aberration otters were a thing. That's cool. Um... I don't see a single fish. There definitely has been fish in here. I remember seeing them. But I can't remember where. But I also need to be aware of you laying eggs. Because of that. Um... Yeah, I need to... Need to take them out. Oh, damn it. This is going to mess things up a little bit. This is the issue when you're not on top of it. Okay. Run away. Yeah, run up here. That seems out of the way enough. But nothing came. Good. Now. I don't know where that otter's gone. I want that otter. Uh, how are you looking for mating? You're about to mate again. So let me grab this and then I'll go find a fish to feed our little friend here. Wherever he's gone. I see a bulb dog, but we don't care about you. I'm sorry, bud. 20. Okay. Yeah. I literally like... There we go. Let's go find it. Nope. Where's the otter? Don't see it. Which sucks. But can I find a fish? And if I can take a fish around, I can at least find a fish. We should be good. But are you kidding me? Why is there no fish here? I don't, it won't eat trilobites, <laughs> sadly. But yeah, I've not seen a single fish. Oh, man. Maybe around the back it was that I was seeing fish. Definitely have seen fish somewhere around here. But if I can tame an otter, then that would be huge. I don't see anything. Is that a fish? Oh, that's the otter. Oh, well, that's a fish. That's a fish. Okay. Drag body. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Now, this is the worst bit. Hold on. I need to get some air. Where did it go? Oh, please come back. Where is it? You'd have thought something that glows would be easier to see. Surprisingly not. Okay, well, we have a fish. Did it come on land? No, it didn't. So it's somewhere still out there. Where are you? It's got to be in here somewhere. We literally just saw it. Oh, I see you. I see you. Is there multiple? Male. Feed fish. Whoa, how many otters are there? Wait to tame. There's a 45. Damn, there's loads. Okay. Wait, what did I do with it? Feed fish. I need one more. So, are you the... You're a male as well, because I think this one's a male. Right, one more fish. Let me get some air. We're definitely going to get back, and there's going to be a raptor that spawned in, which is annoying, but that's fine. But if I can find one more coelacanth, that would be amazing. Let's go for this one. The bigger they are, the better. The bigger they are, the more it does. So let's give it to you. I didn't realize there was all these otters down here. There we go. We've got an otter, guys. Okay, we'll go up for now. We'll leave, we'll leave the otters for now because we know they're there. So we know what to do now. So if you can follow me. Then I will quickly check here, and we have a 
175? Damn, okay. I, I guess we'll imprint with you. And then you come here. Uh, where's the otter? Can you not follow? It's kind of when you were gonna... You are? Okay, cool. Where's the otter? That's what I want to know. There you are. That sounded like an egg. Yes, it was. Cool. Yeah, I've got it set stupidly, like... I've got it set so they, like, keep breeding. Because right now, that's kind of what I need. Oh, that was you making that noise because you're... Okay, cool. Now, the issue with this is... What what have we lost out on here? Melee. So, that if, if we lose out on oxygen, or we lose out on... F I would say food, but I think two points or whatever it was into food is, is just not enough. So, we're gonna... What, what we can do is set you to passive. Like this. And then we can get rid of you because... We have no need for you, and I'm sorry. And then... We'll just get this. And as you can see, it takes a little minute. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, that's, that's essentially that. Look at this guy. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy we got a flipping... We got a, an otter. Otters are so cool. You, yeah, you could stay there, and these will also drop these so you can bring them back, but I would not like to bring any of them back, so thank you very much, but I'm good. But I will get back to doing this anyway. Uh, I I don't want to tame you. Stop, stop, stop trying. We got Churchill over here already, and look at this magnificent guy. This magnificent guy is now a level 50. So, good old Churchill. Right. Anyway, uh, we've got all of this. Pretty happy with how we're getting on so far. Uh, do we have any eggs? We do we've got two eggs? Yeah, we literally didn't do much, and then I saw the otter. So we got three eggs. Should we do three eggs? Wait, I think I picked up poop by accident. Then let let's drop let's drop the three eggs. Uh, we'll go you, and then you, and then you, and there you go. So I don't know whether the fire is also helping keep that all on. Also feels a little bit laggy in certain places, but yeah, I'm not sure. We'll keep that there. It's flipping aberration ottoman. I'm so glad we got it. Don't know why, just otters are cool. 151, 114, a 115. So yeah, not good. Is that otter about to eat that then? What? Fair enough. But yeah, that's that's what we're dealing with. Not not the best. We're just gonna have to wait for a while. I'm gonna get quite a few eggs and then I will be back once we are ready. So I will catch you very shortly, guys. Okay, so I just came back down and there appears to be a female juvenile. Oh. But it's a juvenile. Oh, that's weird. Or I can just imprint. I was going to say, it gave me the option to imprint. And I was like, ooh. There you go. I was going to say, it's only, only a kid. So now we do have a male and female. So we can breed them up. And if anything happens to one, we can sort that out. One thing I would love is a um, is another Cosmo. As sad as that is, we did lose one. We lost our higher level. So if we can find a female that's a bit higher... Does that go up any? That didn't go up any. Apparently that's how you get it to go up. Uh, you are one. Where's the other one? Can I dismiss you? Okay, I'm sure it will appear anytime soon. There you are. What are you doing there, bud? Uh, you are now done. So let's throw you down. We have these two. That was a bag. Oh, you're there. Didn't mean to do that, but yeah, there you go. So now we have 
them. And I just heard another egg hatch. So I think it's probably... We, we could probably do another egg hatch right now. So these are the two otters that we've got. I'm not going to lie. I'm not okay with you being in that. There you go. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to throw these down. Screw it. Not... No. Not that. <laughs> we want the feather. So then, yeah, we just see this. But let's see quickly if I can pluck another one. Can we? We can. Pluck feather. There you go. What did we get then? Another stamina one. Yeah, both stamina. I'm just increasing stuff on you so that you don't die. And I'm seeing... 172. 187. Hold on, hold on. 187 is good. Where is it? Oh, see, this is the issue of putting them all together. There's the 187. And then the rest can get chomped on. You ready? Wow, even Cosmo went in on that. What the heck? Even Cosmo, man. Flipping heck. I didn't take you for a meat eater. What the, what the heck? Anyway, so you come here, bud. Uh, do you have meat on you? I'll put a bit of meat on you, just in case. There you go. 2,000 health, I think, is good. You also want to cuddle. That's fine. I'll put that on you, but I think you're eating from the trough, so that's okay. Should be fine with this, but this is a one... Oh, it's a... Female, of course it is. Is it imprinted? I think not imprinted. Oh, it's mutated in melee. Look at that. It's got the. It's mutated in melee. Oh. Oh, say can you see? <laughs> what the art gods gave me. So, what was it? What were you to start with? Can I work that out? So, it was that one. You are 191. I've put five levels in you. So, you were 196. Hold up. So, 31, 25, 34, 34, 42, 42, 30 and 23. So 30 and 22. Oh no, he took the oxygen stat from you. You're absolutely fine. But the issue is, we don't have a male, so we don't have a, a breeding pair yet. Obviously, that doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to get rid of this because this is what we want. It's just a, a mutated version. But now, what it means is, we're going to have double the amount of production on eggs. So we're going to have a lot more eggs next time because you are going to be mating. You're going to give me this. And there you have it. We have two raptors doing eggs now. One of them with a melee mutation, which is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I'm super happy with that. Right, so now we've got the melee mutation. We are after 187s. One, eight, one eight, yeah, no, 187s from you. And then anything else you give, I, all I want from you is a male. So if we can just change you out for the male, mm, you might even be done, to be fair. I think don't, I think uh, your time has dawned. <laughs> hey, that was terrible. That was really bad. But yeah, you're good. But I think, yeah, no, I think... Because whatever we get is going to be a worse version anyway, we should stop. So you come out of there. Dawn has uh, used her time. What we want now is a male from this. So all the good stats and a male. We just seem to be struggling with that. But maybe in these two we can get one. Uh, can I just whistle everybody on neutral again? Thank you, just to make sure that all... Because the babies the babies tend to come out at uh, on attack your target. So that's a good thing to know, because if, if they're just chilling after, it's going to end badly. And then, 
We can have a quick look, but it doesn't look like you've got your saddle. Do I have it? Yeah. So neither of them. We've got a 151 and a 148. Um, I have to keep this one purely because of the colours. If the colours don't stand out as much, then, you know. Yeah. We're good. And... Well, that was me. Oh, I forgot. When you do this, you get loads of levels as well. So, yeah, I've been leveling quite a bit without realizing. We're almost level 60, damn. Okay, almost at 300 weight, which is where we were looking to get. And we can now make a Deodon saddle, which is pretty useless considering I'm pretty sure Deodons are not on this map. Or at least not for a while. However, let's see if the first egg from them will get me anything. And if not, then I guess it's on to uh, me going back to doing this. And you guys just kind of sitting there and... Well, not sitting there and waiting. I'll skip forward for you, but we'll see. Are we going to get anything decent? Or is it going to be terrible? Also, it seems to be lagging a lot around here at the minute. I think that's because I've been messing with the graphics setting trying to fix this. We did get... Um, there you go. Whoa, you just hit the tra trailer bite. But yeah, that's a level for you. So let's put that in melee. Yeah, I want, I want the stats of you onto the color of this is what I want. So that's what we're going for currently. So fingers crossed that's what we can get. But guys... I shall be right back because we are not stopping this train and we will not finish this episode until we have got a perfect breeding pair. So I will catch you whenever that happens. However, you, sir, ma'am, sorry, you're really cool colours as well, actually. I really like the feather colours. Yep. Uh, you can be called... Just, just because of your feathers, and I'm really not good with names, you're going to be called Blaze. But spelt like that. Spelt really stupidly. Uh, but I'm going to collect a load of eggs, and then I will be back, guys. So I will see you very shortly. Okay, so we finally got the 187. Love to see it. Imagine if this is, like, not got all the stats. Wait, was this mutated again? This has all the stats and it says mutate. Is it, does it show the mutated even though we have 25, 25, 34, 34, 42? Yeah, so this is all the same, 30 and 22. And then 31 and 2. So I think that just shows overall mutation and it stays that way. So what's good to know now is that we have a perfect breeding pair. So everything from these two is going to be exactly what we want. So if I have this and give this to you, we can ride on down. I don't want this out. And we now have the perfect breeding pair. So let me take that off you and let me start the mating. You're going to start mating, but I would prefer you to be, like, here. So then we're in it to win it, and we have the male, and that's it. That's how you get the perfect breeding pair. I'm also going to try and get more red on these. I like, who knows, we may even... Let's uh, enable mating and do this, and then everything from these two... You are mating. Everything from these two is going to be perfect. And all we want is a red version of these two. So we'll try and do that. We'll try and get one of them. But yeah, super happy with this. We finally made the thing. Uh, we will continue on until we have our Raptor army ready. And then, yeah, I'm super... Like, they're all different colors as well. So you didn't get the cool feathers from this. I think you would look pretty cool if you inherited the feathers from this one but that obviously isn't going to happen because they're both female and you're male but we're going to attempt to try and get these colors on this uh with these stats 
So we'll see how that goes, and we'll be back once we have the final army up and ready. And then we should be okay to traverse and take on Aberration to an extent. So I'm looking forward to that, guys, and I'll catch you once we're back. Okay, so we have our guys. We have them all up. These are all 187s that have been bred up. They've all got the melee mutation. We've left... Don't worry, this is just what we've got, and then over here are the parents, so I'm leaving the parents, so we will always, hopefully, have some more. Let's go test out the pack, shall we? So, let's head on over, and fingers crossed, we can get some, we, we can feel safe. How am I dehydrated? I'm in water. Let's just sink down. <laughs> Easiest way to get water there. And now I should be safe. Everyone here? There you go. We're on the pack leader, who is red. I leveled him up a little bit, just so we could do that. And I'm pretty confident, so we're going for this Paraceratherium right here. So let's go. We also need a lot of meat. We'll attack here, and there goes that. That baby's gone, so let's do some damage. He's doing five damage. Yeah, easy stuff, guys. Yeah, give me give me this meat. We need... A, the, the point of going out as well is we're kind of running out of meat. So we need as much as we can get. Oh, this nest is still here. Can you get rid of these nests? All right, let's, let's take these out. And there's you. Oh, I think these are still on neutral. Whoops. You need to be on attack my target, which is why you might not have been attacking anything. But that's fine. We've done pretty well so far. Time to take on the trikes. There you go. And then we go for this guy. Poor guy. Oh, damn. Oh. Guy hurt me then. Well... Luckily, we should be good unless it's one of them stupid diving birds, in which case we won't be able to reach it. But this is a strong army. We're feeling pretty safe. Uh, but, it, I mean, it does require us to have a lot. I can't wait until we get the Megalosauruses. Uh, I'll be feeling a lot safer then. Well, let's go have a look deeper into the, uh, into the cave. Just a little deeper, not too much deeper. Oh, this is a 135. Well, it's a good job we didn't want to try. Everyone here? I think so. That looks like it. As long as we keep the main guy, we're okay. No one else has been leveled up or anything special. We have got meat. Yeah, just hatching these babies. They've eaten, like, all of my meat. All of that's, like, basically gone now. So, we need to kind of get that back. Here they all come. <laughs> that's insane. Oh, this is a... I'm very happy with this. This is this is what we wanted. We wanted to get something good. I was a bit unsure, but now that I've got them, I kind of feel like this army is going to do well. And I think 2k health is good for now. So let's just up the melee and come on. There we go. Let's get through here. Oh, we're, we're literally just up here. I thought I'd gone around the other way. Okay, then. Not where I thought I was. I thought I was more up... Oh, I see where I am now, yeah. Because that's this. Are they all... Kind of. They should all make it back. The pathfinding eventually makes it there. The, the pathfinding is a bit funky on this. I have noticed they seem to mess up quite a lot, and they just seem to get stuck in a circle not too far from you, and it's like, okay, don't know what's happening. Oh, don't get me stuck, please. Have they got me stuck? I think they've got me stuck. Oh, you. Thanks for that. Thanks, guys. Right, we're level 62. Yeah, so also a, a big thing about this is when you're doing this, uh, like when you're farming stuff and doing all that, we do want Trank Darts, and we would love a Glider Suit, but I think, do I need to make that in the Smithy? And that costs Blue Gems, Hide, Metal... That glider suit would be amazing. Uh, 
how do I whistle people to go like to a certain point? Uh, I don't know. There's, there's a button for it. I don't know the button. Oh, there we go. We're free. Now we're not going to go for... Is that blue gems? Oh, it's a gas vein. Hold on. Careful. I don't want to get poisoned. <laughs> I was going to say, blue gems aren't here. They're in the blue zone. But let's, let's just go up this way is the way I meant, I think. Oh, there's a stego here. Let's get ready. Level 90. I should probably check the levels just in case. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage we're putting out there. And then we have this guy, level 1, 2, 5. We don't want to trike. I'm sorry. We just don't want to trike. And there's that. Yeah, these guys are strong. Looks like the... Uh, oh, interesting. It does look like the... The Gigas, but the Gigantoraptor's been uh, removed. <laughs> For lack of a better word. But yeah, I, I walked up there before. That's where I crashed, so I'm not going to go that way. But I think we kind of tested them out. We've seen that we're pretty strong now. We should be pretty good when it comes to taking on everything other than that guy. Who seems to be just firing off the wall. What level are you, by the way? What level was that? What are you guys attacking? Oh, Mega Nora? Really? Let me let me see what level that guy is. Why can I not? Level 50 is that? Level 50. Okay, I think that's the same one we were seeing then. But yeah, very happy with uh, what we've made. Today, we have finally made some protection. And if something happens and they were to die we still have that protection what are you oh you're a dodic okay that's cool so let's head back to base i'll just show you around there with all the, the guys one thing i need to do is sort out the bottom of my base because if you if when we get there if you take a look at it we're kind of running out of room already or well, we just need to like section things off so i think that's what i'm going to do down here is like section things off what are you wait is he are you one of my raptors um okay well we'll get you i guess unless you okay so we were missing one but that's fine we didn't notice but all of these guys have got to be following this one but there, there they are down there we managed to get this one Nice colours. I think I'd prefer the orange underbelly. But for now, this guy's going to take the cake. We we did manage to get, I think, all of them or most of them imprinted fully. So that's good. We managed to sort that out. Uh, so if I go here, this is where you guys will go. And you guys can just follow on from that. So you are going to be called... I'll let you guys give me some raptor names, but I'm going to call... Are you a male or female? Male. Okay. Okay, we have Ruby. So we're going to go with Ruben. Ruben's a name, I think. Sounds like it. You have some levels. So we're just going to pump levels. We're going to take meat because I'll show you in a second, but holy cow. We had like 800 meat in there, I'm pretty sure, and it, it is just gone. Okay, let me get under you. And not many of these actually have meat. Somehow you've got stuff on you, but no meat. Oh, saying that, they're all hungry. Look at them. They're all still hungry. So, that's fine. Pump health into you guys. You can all reach that, can't you? Yep. Yeah, it's... Not actually that far. And then if I whack this in, look how quickly it goes. They're just like chomping through it. So we're going to have to go out and keep getting loads of meat until they are finally full. I think they're getting there, but we're definitely going to need to do it again at some point. But that's not going to be this episode. I'll probably do that in between episodes or something. Uh, we did change this for Citronelle. 
because we are going to want to start making kibble or start getting things ready for the kibble, aka citronelle and moss chops eggs. So we're going to need a, a new moss chops. Uh, where are you? We're going to need a female moss chops. So once we've got that, we should be all good. But for now, we're going to... Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. So for now, we're going to leave it there because I want the Megalosaurus kibble. Well, I think it's superior kibble you make for Megalosaurus, so I need all of that. Uh, we, have, we have these guys all looking around, very happy with the squad that we've got. But guys, if you did enjoy this one and if it helped you out, please drop a like on it because that would really help me out also. And if you want to see more of this, consider subscribing so you don't miss any more of the content here. We're doing like daily art content as much as we can. And I will catch you all in the next one.